Hey guys and welcome to our bridal glam makeup tutorial for 2019. I know you're all asking me to do a bridal look for you and here's my take for this year. So this is a quick before and after before we start our bridal makeup transformation. Before starting anything, I'm going to start applying the Instant Light Spray Makeup Base on her face. This makeup base will hydrate, give her extra glow and also make the skin ready for the makeup application. Next, I'm gonna start with the foundation and I'm using the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation with brush number 35, which is the foundation brush. I'm gonna spread a very small amount of foundation all over her skin so that I can take the coverage that I want and also tune her face into a one color. Now it's time to highlight the areas that I want to emphasize more light into and I'm using the concealer in number one and brush number 18 which is the concealer brush and I'm starting the concealer under her eye drawing a V shape and I'm going to also add some light on the forehead and a little bit under her chin. Next is contour and I'm using the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation in number 50 and I'm adding it on the forehead all the way towards the temple and also I'm going to draw her cheekbones but the way that I'm going to draw them this time is a little bit more curved so that I can really make them more prominent and give her bone structure a more defined edge. And I'm going to also add on the bridge of the nose, the tip as well and the sides of her lips. After that it's time to blend and I'm using my blending brush and I'm going to start blending uh, the areas that I've highlighted and contoured. So it's extremely important while blending your contour and highlight is that to um, remove all harsh lines and keep the color difference or the color contrast very visible. I'm gonna tap under her eye so that I can remove the lines that I've drawn which is the V shape so that I also puff out all the harsh lines and remove the shape but always keep in mind that you really need to keep your shape or the effect of the shape that you've just applied very visible. And with my blending sponge I always tap so that I can remove all excess product from her face and set everything into her skin better. With a smaller blending brush, I'm going to also blend the nose, which is extremely important because using a smaller brush will really help me keep my precision very visible. Skin is ready and now it's time to set everything and I'm using the filter effect loose powder in number 0.1 with my powder puff and I'm going to start tapping her skin so that I really set everything into place. It's very important to set really well because usually in our area weddings happen so early and stay so late so setting everything in a perfect way will really help you keep your makeup really settled and will also stay for a very long period of time. Especially also uh, bear in mind that um, our uh, weather here is really humid and most of us have like really oily skin so we really need to take this under consideration while doing our bridal makeup for our region. So again with my filter effect loose powder I'm tapping her skin so that I make sure I'm setting everything right in place. Removing the excess of my powder with brush number 25 so that I don't keep any excess product on her face. And now using brush number 10, I'm going to add some more dimension into her cheekbones and this is with Dark Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced to give her more color. And now to add more glow to her face, I'm going to add a little bit of highlight and this is from the face palette that will be launching next month. So uh, yeah, finally launching date is coming to you guys very 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 soon. So this step is to add more glow into her skin before starting with the eye makeup. I try as much as I can to focus on the edges of her face so that it will look really like vibrant and so shiny. It will give the bride like really this extra amazing glow. Next is eyes. Now usually I personally prefer to keep the eye makeup for my brides extremely natural and soft so that it really doesn't look super uh, strong. I usually like my brides to look like really angelic and super sweet but it depends on your character and what you're looking after for uh, the wedding day. 
So uh, for that, I'm going to start applying a little bit of the concealer on her eyelids using brush number 18. And then with my applicator brush, which is a number 15, I'm going to bring a matte brown color. Now my brown is not like really orangey. It's some, somewhere between like brown and also a little bit pink. Uh, so I'm not gonna go with something that is super uh, orangey this time on her eyes. And I start marking her crease all the way to the inner corner of her face. And I'm also directly blending the edges of the color that I'm applying so that it will really look very soft. After that, I'm gonna bring my blending brush which is in number 16 and I'm going to puff all the way up to her eyebrow so that I make sure that I don't have any harsh lines and under her eyebrow, I'm gonna use the compact powder from MAC which is an NC42. Now using my concealer brush which is in number 18, I'm gonna bring a shimmery color and this color that I'm using now is from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and it's a champagne color which does have a lot of shimmer inside so it will pop up her uh, eyelid as you can see and then on the inner corner i'm gonna use a brighter shade also of champagne just to highlight the inner corners of her eye now i'm using a um, burgundy color uh, eye kohal pencil and this one is from kiko and i'm going to mark her uh, lash line with this burgundy color so it will really give her eyes a very 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 soft finish and will also give me this saturation that I want on the edges of her eyelashes. I then bring the same color of eyeshadow with my uh, pencil brush and I'm going to puff out all the edges of this pencil so that I really don't have like really um, a defined line. And now I move into the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the same eye pencil and I'm going to start marking her waterline all the way down to the roots of her eyelashes. And after that, I'm going to use also the same color, which is burgundy, to puff out all the edges of this uh, Kohl pencil with my uh, pencil brush. To give her a more uh, dimension into the eyes, I'm going to use uh, the eyeliner from Kat Von D. I'm going to draw a very, very, very thin eyeliner, very close to the roots of her lashes, just to emphasize more on her lashes. And then it's time to uh, draw the eyebrow. Now, my beautiful model does have like extremely beautiful eyebrows. And this one trick that I usually like to do, and I'm using this product, which is from uh, Anastasia, and they are the new uh, eyebrow gel mascara. I'm going to directly start applying it on the eyebrow. And I usually feel where I need to press more on the eyebrow. Like if I do have imperfections or gaps or empty spaces in the eyebrows, all what I do is that I push the brush a little bit more towards her skin so that it will really add pigment also into the skin and not only the hair. And this will extremely look natural, guys. You need to try it. Just brush your eyebrows and press it a little bit more into your skin so that it will stick on the actual skin, yet will look extremely natural without even the need of uh, using any other product or shaping them with a pencil or with powder will directly give you a fuller and bushier eyebrows after that it's time to add lashes and i'm using the samir khuzami lashes and this one is a number 77 sk 77 the lashes that i'm applying are more fluttery they are like feathered i don't want to add something very bushy or very um, dark on her eyes because it might kill basically the um, look that I've um, done or that I want to achieve which is something more soft for the bride and not very heavy on the eye. Alright so after finishing the eyelashes it's time to move to lips and I'm using uh, brush number 22 with a, a lip stain from uh, Skin Touch which is L77. I'm going to draw and fill also the shape of the lip. It's very important for you while doing uh, the lips also to bear in mind that this really needs to stay for a very long period of time again because after applying this I'm going to use the palm lip gloss and it's a very neutral color and I'm going to apply a very small amount just to make sure that her lip stain doesn't look uh, too dry or cracky on the lips. 
I go back then to the lashes with the mascara and this is a L'Oreal mascara and I think you all know by now that I usually prefer to apply lashes only on the real ones, on the real lashes, not on the fake ones so that I don't destroy basically the effect of my lashes. I just pull them together using the mascara. Next is blush and I'm using the luster blush from NARS to add more color into her cheeks and give it like a really very barbie-ish kind of look on her cheeks and after that it's time to add a little bit more highlight and this time I'm gonna use my fingertips so that I can really use the whole pigment from my palette and I'm adding it all the way on her cheekbones a little bit towards the temples of her uh, face so that I really get this extra glow definitely also that is very visible when she moves and the light catches her face which will look like super glam and really nice and glowy and guys this is the final look this is the bridal makeup for 2019 that I know you've been all asking so much about so i hope you enjoyed watching i really hope also that uh, you got the tips that you're asking about again this is a quick before and after of our beautiful 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 model don't forget to subscribe and i'll definitely see you in the next one